Pennsylvania was one of the most influential states in the shaping of our country. Philadelphia was the location of America's first capital city. Gettysburg was the battle that many believe turned the Civil War. And Pittsburgh's steel production made westward expansion and the American railroad system possible. Pennsylvania is still one of our more influential states, and today we're going to learn more about the Keystone State. The median home price in Pennsylvania is right around $300,000, and the median household income is over $60,000, making it the 22nd highest earning state in the country. Taxes in Pennsylvania are a bit different than most states. Sales tax is under the national average at 6%, but Pittsburgh and Philadelphia's counties also have additional local taxes too. Statewide, income tax is a flat tax of 3.07%, Cities can add to this though, and it ranges from another half percent all the way up to more than 3.8% more in Philly. The average effective property tax rate is 37% higher than the national average. But there is an important point here. There is a huge range between what you may pay for property taxes here. Some counties are as low as 0.87%, and some counties are as high as 2.45% meaning you can pay almost three times as much in some counties for equal property value as other parts of the state. The violent crime rate in Pennsylvania is 15% less than the national average. The state's property crime rate is also 26% lower than America's average. That doesn't mean that the big cities are safe from violent crime. Property crime and violent crime are above average in Philly and in Pittsburgh. The state as a whole though, is excellent on crime. The state of Pennsylvania is 77% white, about 7% Hispanic, 10.5% black, about 3% of residents are Asian, 0.1% of residents are Native American, and just under 2% of residents are two or more races. While the state as a whole isn't particularly diverse, Philadelphia, the biggest city in the state, is majority black making it the biggest city in all of America where black residents are the majority population. Now, in Pennsylvania, more than race, their work ethic defines this state. From steel production, mining, and manufacturing, this state has a blue collar reputation like few others. The state of Pennsylvania leans democratic. However, they do have some Republican representation too. There has only been one Republican governor since 2000. This state is one that does tend to be competitive for presidential elections, which is why Trump beat Clinton by 1.2% and lost to Biden by 1.2%. You'll find that both sides are given a chance and they vote for the platform that most aligns with their values. Now, Pennsylvania gets cold. In the winter, the January low average is 19 degrees, and the annual snowfall is 38 inches. Now while it does get cold, the summer highs only get to 83 degrees, which sounds great, but it can come with some humidity in parts of the state, even though it is generally not awful. One big drawback in Pennsylvania is they get almost one month less sunshine than the national average. I just like to see more sun, especially since they get an average of 44 inches of annual rainfall too. For those of us who'd visit Pennsylvania, you would probably think about going to Hershey, seeing the Liberty Bell or Independence Hall in Philly, learning about the steel industry in Pittsburgh, or venturing out to learn about Gettysburg. This place is full of history, natural beauty, and sports. Pennsylvania is really into sports. The Pittsburgh Steelers are the winningest team in NFL history with six Super Bowl rings. The Pirates and Penguins also play there too. Philly teams have not had a ton of success when it comes to winning championships, but the 76ers, Eagles, Phillies, Flyers, and more get the fans really excited. In fact, the Eagles stadium used to be the only venue in the NFL with a jail in the stadium. You heard that right, the fans get that crazy. But don't forget about Penn State University either, they have a great football tradition too. Philadelphia is known for one major food item the Philly cheesesteak. If you've ever run into someone from Philly, a lot of people will have their own local spots they recommend. I remember going to Gino's as a kid, and it was pretty good. 
although a few locals told us we had to try other places. So have fun with this and try a few spots. While locals enjoy food, history, and sports, there is much more here to entertain residents. Pennsylvania is full of beautiful places to explore. You can visit the Poconos, venture to one of their fantastic lakes, and of course, visit a city park. If you enjoy road tripping, there are many cities within a few hours of the state's borders. I'll include some cool things to do in the description as well. If you've decided you want to move here, the next hurdle is to decide which of the many cities would fit your needs the most. Let's look at a few. While we mentioned Philadelphia's proud history, it's probably not a reason you consider moving here. This city is a bit rough in many places, so before you look at how inexpensive rent or home prices are in some places, understand there are some sketchy areas. But the people here are resilient, tough, and passionate. After all, they have the second best NFL team in the state. If you need to get around for business or pleasure, Atlantic City, Baltimore, and New York City are all within a two hour drive. Since Philly is a major hub for many airlines, this does make it one of the better cities to travel from as well. Now from the nation's first capital to Pennsylvania's current capital, Harrisburg. It's about two hours west of Philly and is a beautiful town that runs by a, uh, I can't pronounce that guys, this river here. About half of Harrisburg's population is black. The housing prices here are reasonable and it is a decent place. The crime rates are a little higher than you'd like to see, but I do think it's a beautiful place and has potential. It's also the closest city on the list to Penn State University, one of the state's biggest education centers. Pittsburgh is built where three beautiful rivers converge, and it is quite picturesque. The mountains, fall colors, and people here are incredible. They are known as the Steel City, and this is one of the biggest downtowns in the country for a city with under 400,000 residents. They will have resources like a large city, but really you can live outside of here and travel into town on one of their over 400 bridges leading into the city. Sports, robotics, tech, and blue collar work define this city, and it's pretty inexpensive to buy a home here too. If you are looking for a slower pace of life, Pennsylvania is full of opportunities. Most of the state is small towns scattered about. No place encapsulates that better than Lancaster County. It is famous for having a large Amish population, but it's a lot more than that. It's less than 100 miles from Philly, has some of the best local farms in the country, and a very tight-knit community. It's actually a quite popular place for people to retire for those who are looking to get away from it all. The average home price is only slightly above average. However, it will usually come with more land, so take that into account too. If you're looking for a different place, there are other popular places you can look at, like Erie, Allentown, Bethlehem, Scranton, and more as well. This state is full of wonderful places and people. Make sure to click that thumbs up button, subscribe for more content like this, and of course, take care.